Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. Today I have the programmer for the FTX-1. Let's learn a little bit about the radio through the programmer. First and foremost, you must have firmware version 1.08 for any of this to work on your radio. So while you're waiting this last little bit for the programmer to be ready, and believe me, we are within hours or days, make sure you've done all the firmware updates on the radio. Looking at this programmer, it looks like all our others. We're very consistent. It'll accept any frequency that the radio will accept. A lot of columns, active or not active depending on bands and frequencies. Let's get some more information in here and talk about something that you might see as a gotcha, but if you understand it, you'll realize that we're doing all we can to help you with it. Let's do File, External Data, and Repeater Book. This radio will do 2 meters, 440, 10 meters, and 6 meters, Let's take advantage of it. I'm in Berwick, Pennsylvania, and I'm there purely because I know what the data pool is going to be, and I want to use it for my example. I want 10 meters, 6 meters, 2 meters, and 440, and I'm going to tell it OK. I want these by frequency. Again, I have something to show you. And it's going to be easier if they're together by frequency. And I'm going to create the file. Now we have a file for the FTX1. What I want to talk to you about right now are offset frequency and offset direction. This radio, like lots of HF radios that have repeater bands built in, has one offset per band, not one offset per channel, one offset per band. You change that offset frequency in the radio, every channel that is minus or plus in that band will change, will recalculate when you hit that push to talk. But this radio has a really neat new feature in ARS with built-in offsets for the band. It's really cool. In the American radio, 2 meters is 600 kilohertz. 440 is 5 megs. And so what we're going to do for you there, notice all of these are 600 kilohertz. Here I have one that is set up to a split. Here I have one that's one meg. Could happen. Here I have another repeater that's one meg. What we're going to do is all of these that are 600 kilohertz, we're going to set automatically to ARS, automatic repeater shift, in the radio. Because the 600 kilohertz is already built in, the minus is automatic based on band plan. So we're going to take advantage of that to give you more options. This plus, these are both 1 meg. I'm going to go to Settings, Radio Menu Settings. And I'm going to go to Radio Settings. And I'm going to set the 2 meter offset to 1 megahertz, 1 megahertz. Now, when this goes to the radio, as a plus, it will do a 1 megahertz split. If there were others, if there was something that was on 630 instead of 600, that will go to the radio as a split. We're trying to make this as easy as possible in the programmer for you to enter things and understand what you're entering and then convert them to what the radio can use. 
So you see how we're getting the most use out of the options available. 440 is easy down here. They're all 500. They're plus and minus appropriately for the band. They're all going to the radio as ARS. When you key up, you will shift appropriately from 441.8 to 446.8. 10 meters and 6 meters. In all honesty, right this minute, we're still investigating the radio, but it really looks like they're going to work the same way. If not, I have 100 here. I have 500 here. You need to be sure that they are set properly in the settings, 100 kilohertz and 500 kilohertz. So that'll take care of those. And then the others would go to the radio as splits. Either way, the channel is going to work on that repeater the way you expect it to. We're using the available options to get the most we can for you out of the radio. Just might look a little different in the radio than it does on the screen. The next thing I want to talk about are power settings. The immediate power settings cannot be set in the program. The power settings are mode and band specific. And your immediate power level, what you're using right this minute, can only be set from the face of the radio. What we can give you here in the settings, these are max power. Max power. Okay, those we can set from the program and the radio will accept the settings. This is not your immediate power out. You'll do that from the face of the radio. Display settings, CW settings, operational settings, radio settings for each of the modes. CW just has so many it has to be on its own page. APRS and presets. And set all this up and send it to the radio. We have worked and found several things that we can't set because they are band and mode dependent. You are welcome to ask. But in general, if you don't find it here, it's because the radio won't accept it from the outside. There's still other things coming on about this radio. We've heard in the wind that there's another firmware update coming. As they come, we will update the programmer. So we all hope this helps. Hope I didn't confuse you with any of that. We'll have it ready for you very, very soon. We're within hours or days. So this is Karen, and remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right, 73s.